Yo, what is up guys, and welcome to another video. Today, I'm going to start off a 3 to 5, well, three to five part series on what if I rewrote The Last Jedi. Um, I'm going to do it in different acts, so this is Act 1. Uh, act 2 will come out next week with Act 3, then Act 4, then Act 5. Um, this has taken me a month to write, to get it right for how I want it to go. So, um... For all this hard work, I appreciate it. If you would all like and subscribe, uh, it would greatly appreciate. I greatly appreciate it, and it help with the YouTube algorithm. I don't really know how, but it does. Um, just the more likes will make it more recommended, because it's more appealing. Is what I'm guessing, and also to subscribe because I want to get to at least a hundred subscribers by the end of the year. I know um, a bit of a hard task for me. Because I'm not really the greatest and I'm not really the most appealing but it's a goal I'm going for and I'm ready to go for it so starting on Monday uh, my second channel my gaming channel uh, it'll just be different random games I'll upload a video on it every day this vi this channel will I'll upload videos every other day uh, you've been noticing the last five days I've uploaded every day and that's just because I've been enjoying it. And also, it's a bit weird. In December, I don't really upload well, much. It's January. I just go ham towards the middle of it. But, yeah. Let's get started, shall we? So, the title crawl, I'm going to ignore because I don't really have time to explain it. But we start off where the camera pans down. We see Mustafa. And then we see Kylo's Tide Scepter whiz past like how Anakin's fighter did in episode 3. And then it cuts to a swooping shot of Vader's castle. And we see Kylo's fighter go over the castle, spin round and land behind the castle. After that we see Kylo step out of his ship. Um, and as soon as he does, he'll look up and to the left. And you'll see the ship, the Knights of Red ship, following him. And when they land, Kylo awaits them near their ship. Uh, the Knights round Kylo in a crescent shape when they come out the ship. And then they all stand in silence with their weapons and Kylo just says, The missing piece is here. Find it. Which leads to the Knights of Red breaking into the castle. As soon as the Knights break in, we hear Vader's music obviously playing in the background, but ever so slightly. And then we see a massive door after they've searched uh, through the entrance. And Kylo looks to the left and he sees a door and he hears something calling for him in that door. He goes up to the door takes out his lightsaber, slashes it, but it doesn't go through the door. He looks to his right, and he sees a, base, a basin, like a bowl, on a, um, on a pillar or something. And as soon as he sees it, he realises that he has to take off his glove, and reveal... The Skywalker blood into the basin, like how Vader does, a bit like just to prove that all the Skywalkers can go in there. Um, so Kylo takes off his left glove, because it's his weak hand. He orders Trudgeon, who is one of the Knights of Red, to hand him a knife. Trudgeon obviously does so. Kylo slits his hand there and the blood starts dripping down into the basin and after three drops go to the basin the door opens Kylo punches his hand stop the blood coming out puts his glove back on and then the door opens slowly Kylo wondered what was inside because he saw nothing but darkness and a narrow pathway going down like two miles 
and then he realises this was not just a Sith cave, the Sith cave. As soon as Kylo realises that, he turns round to the knights and says, Search the building. Find what you can. I'll handle this. The knights just bow and walk away. Uh, obviously they can't disobey Kylo, otherwise they'll just kill him. Kylo slowly walks through the ga- cave with his lightsaber out as a torch or as a big light. The deeper we get into this cave, we hear Vader's music get louder and louder and also his infamous breathing gets louder and louder. Until Kylo stops, turns to his right and he sees on a pedestal a floating lightsaber. And this lightsaber was not just any lightsaber. It beholds the lightsaber of Darth Vader. As soon as Kylo grabs the lightsaber, he gets a vision. And it's very realistic. It's like the Han Solo one in episode 9. But it's Vader trying to attack him. And trying to kill him. This vision will last about 35 to 45 seconds. Um, Vader force chokes Kylo after trying to swing for him. But then Kylo uses Vader's saber, which was on the pedestal, so he brings it behind him, ignites it, and stabs Vader in the back. Kylo drops to the floor, his eyes close. Ten seconds later, he opens his eyes. He looks at where he thought he slayed Vader, but sees nothing but Vader's lightsaber laid where the Dark Lord had been slain, or as he fought. He picks it up and he says that finally the saber is mine. He walks out the cave and to where the knights had broken into the first place he sees Cardo, where the knights, standing there with a mysterious pyramid-like object. Kylo snatches it out of his hand and orders him to tell him where he found this. To which Cardo quickly responds in Lord Vader's personal quarters master. Then Kylo says, impressive, most impressive. Kylo turns around, walks past the knights. The knights tilt their head down to respect him. Uh, Kylo looks down to the right like just over his shoulder but head down and then he says where is it here he commands the knights to go to Tatooine to oversee the creation of the Sith Troopers alongside Captain Phasma whilst Kylo goes to Snoke to try and deceive him of the loss of the Holocron but as we'll find out later, Kylo will need that for a more personal gain. And the only reason they went to Vader's castle is for the Holocron, but Kylo went there for his own personal gain. After this, uh, this will be like down like ten minutes of the film. Uh, we cut to Ray and Luke as the way the Force Awakens, Ray holding out his lightsaber. Luke slowly takes a lightsaber, ignites it, holds it like Dooku does. So, like that. Uh, with a tear in Luke's eye, he ignites it, slowly puts it back in Ray's hand, and says in a low crowl, Never come back here again. And he slowly walks about, walks up the mountain of Act 2 with Ray following him. Luke bursts open his shack and as soon as Ray goes through the door, we can see the pain of Luke, of what Luke's been suffering through the last 10 years, written all over the walls. It's just harrowing and just... 
it's a nightmare and that shows Luke's turmoil over the last 10 years. Um, Luke will start to act a bit like Maul, how Maul was obsessed over Kenobi, uh, wanting revenge. Luke will be obsessed over the night that Kylo betrayed him and burnt down the entire Jedi Temple. And Luke will just be in a terrible state where Kylo is his kryptonite and every time someone says his name, he will just go to a fit and just remember that night and just, just go to a craze that no one's ever seen. Ray walks into the room that, well, Ray walks into Luke's shack and explains to him, what do you mean don't come back? We need you to save the resistance. Luke will turn round to Ray and shouts, the Luke you was believed you knew us no more. Never since. Never since. Luke's eyes start to flicker. His eyes roll up into the back of his head. And we hear him shout. No! As he remembers Kylo slaying all the Padawans at the temple. Ray rushes over and asks Luke what is wrong. To which Luke replies. Ben. Ben. Ray then says, What about Ben? To which Luke will reply slowly, I failed him. I failed him. To which Ray will confusedly reply with, What do you mean, failed him? And then we'll get a wipe. It'll cut to an MC-85 star cruiser flying over like the Star Destroyers did in uh, New Hope. And then we'll cut to a room with Finn, well, a room with Poe and Leia talking about some plans. Uh, we see lit up on a hollow table, three planets, all in a triangle. Mustafa, Naboo and Endor. Finn walks into the room with a limp, because as we know in episode 7 he was severely injured. We figure out he's alive finally. Leia and Poe are relieved. Poe runs to him and says, to Finn and says, You want a strong, strong sword trooper, you know that? To which Finn will reply, <laughs> Yes. That doesn't change the fact that I did stop Kylo. To which Leia quickly responds with, Never mind that, Finn. We have a problem you and Poe need to deal with. But, uh, to which Poe quickly responds with, Where is it, General? Leia switches the screen from Naboo to Utapau. And obviously we know that Clone Wars pretty much ended on Utapau. Leia says, This is Utapau. We have heard reports that Snoke has a blockade or on and around the planet and to make it even better we have heard from the spy that Snoke is within this blockade on Utapau. Poe will need you and your squadron to take out the main communications centre of the blockade which is centred on the eastern side of the planet. The eastern side of the planet is heavily armed with three Star Destroyers and two major ships which we cannot explain. But before this attack I need you to join Finn and go to Tatooine we need to stop any reinforcements from coming here. Uh, we've heard reports that Captain Phasma is on Tatooine overlooking the creation of something that should never have been created in the first place. And whatever this creation is, this will stop any chance of resistance fighting it back against the First Order. This will pretty much annihilate the resistance if this creation comes into full force. To which Poe with confusion replies with what is this creation? To which Leia drastically replies with the Sith Trooper. Then we will cut to Kylo. He has entered the elevator. The door slowly closes. 
when in the elevator, Kylo unveils Vader's lightsaber and says, Show me. Show me the secrets of the dark side. Ten seconds later, Kylo has flashes of Anakin choking Padme. Anakin going into the suit that makes him Darth Vader. We have flashbacks of Vader making his lightsaber and the turmoil. The, the necklace Padme gave to him kept flickering in his head. We see the torment of the suit and how painful it was to be in that suit. And then finally, Luke Skywalker. When Kylo's eyes stop flashing and the, me and the visions go away, the elevator door opens two seconds later. He hides the lightsaber and we see Snoke sat in his throne room and, uh, sorry, what? Sat in his throne room with eight Praetorian guards. Snoke is really menacing here as he has pretty much recreated the room from The Last Jedi. Well, it's pretty much the room that they used in The Last Jedi that they're going to use here. Um, Snoke shouts, Come forth, boy! As which Kylo steps out the elevator and walks up to about 10 metres away from Snoke. Kylo kneels and says, What is I bidding, master? To which Snoke replies with, The tide of the force is becoming unbalanced, and deception surrounds us. Kylo stands up and says, Who is trying to deceive us, master? To which Snoke replies with a low growl, You boy. To which Snoke shoots Kylo with a bolt of lightning, we hear Kylo scream and Snoke shout, The Holocron I requested you to find is lost because of you. He stops the lightning and continues to speak. The reason it's lost is because you couldn't... It's not because you couldn't find it. No. It's because you did. And you tried to deceive me. Boy. Snoke stands up, walks up to Kylo, and says, I sense the holocron is on you. Get to me. To which Kylo gently pulls it from his pocket and holds it out. Snoke with the force pulls it from his hand and growls, You try to see me again. And I'll make you wish you were still the Padawan of Skywalker. To which Kylo slowly stands up and says, Understood. Kylo slowly turns round, walks into the elevator. The elevator closes. He pulls out Vader's lightsaber. And activates it and starts slashing the elevator to bits and then as soon as the elevator opens he goes on a rampage and kills about 20 stormtroopers to which Kylo will then stop because Leia will reach out to him and Leia will show him an image of when he was a little boy playing with Han in just in a very I think in a Star Destroyer, not a Star Destroyer, the MC-85 cruiser that belongs to Leia and Han. Just playing about for like five seconds and Kylo will snap out of it. He'll put the saber back in his pocket, walk to his room, and that is the end of Act 1. Now, though it ain't the greatest script, but uh, I thought I'd do this just to make it cool. Um, Act 2 will come out next Saturday. I uh, can't wait for you to see, hear that. Um, so, to recap, Kylo has gone to Vader's castle, retrieved Vader's saber and the holocron. Uh, he tried to keep the holocron to himself for a purpose that we cannot explain yet. Rey tried to recruit Luke back to resistance, but Luke has some mental turmoil 
because of the events of um, Kylo Ren and what he did. Um, I don't have a name for the night that Kylo did it. Uh, the Knights of the Shards, maybe. Um, and then obviously we figure out that um, Leia wants to eliminate Stoke immediately. Uh, she figures out there's a massive blockade on Utapal, which is where Stoke and Kylo currently are, as I've left it. Um, the Knights of Ren have gone to go and help Phasma with the creation of the Sith Troopers. Uh, obviously we saw him in episode 9, it's just Stormtroopers, but I'm going to make these some Force users, like, a bit like the Temple Guards from the Republic, but just, there's going to be like 200 of them. And if Finn and Poe fail to stop the creation, then the resistance will fall. Uh, Kylo tries to deceive his master of the Holocron. Uh, Kylo gets beaten the shit out of with lightning. Uh, Snoke goes aggressive on him, uh, takes the Holocron off him, but doesn't realise Kylo has the lightsaber of Vader. And if you want to figure out where Kylo will go after this, uh, where Luke will be, um, what will happen to all characters, stay tuned. Uh, thank you all for watching. Um, I hope this is a good script for you all. Leave comments down below what you think of it so far. Uh, I didn't want to put too much voice uh, lines in here. I just wanted to put the ideas out there. Um, obviously, I did put some dialogue in. Um, but, yeah. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed. Please make sure to like, subscribe. Tell me what you think down below. Uh, I'll greatly appreciate it. I'll, uh, I'll respond to all your comments, uh, no matter what. And, yeah. Uh, tomorrow. Uh, won't be a gaming video, because by the time... Tomorrow comes round, my gaming channel will be set up for you all. So you'll be able to, all the gaming videos will be on there now, besides from the legacy mode for Fight Night Champion, which I want to finish off on this channel and then we can do the rest on other channel. Um, tomorrow I will be doing, this is a very interesting one that I've always wanted to discuss, but I'm going to be discussing why Attack of the Clones is underrated. <laughs> Wanna know why? Stay tuned. Thank you all. Take care and peace.